You're a bad person if you don't know this retro video game fact. The legendary PlayStation 1 startup sound is actually composed of three different sound files that the PS1 plays back at different pitches. Live. That's a sawtooth synth. To me, that sounds like a camera shutter reversed. And a wind chime sound. So why not just use one long clip instead of three? Because you couldn't store these music files on the game discs. They had to be stored on the system BIOS, which is only 512 KB. They're in the computer? But when the console plays back these sounds live, we get 18 whole seconds of music. All for the small price of three short clips that only weigh in at six seconds. The BIOS files are encrypted, so I needed a special software to extract them. But I realized right away that I have one problem. I have no idea what pitches to place these notes or what to do with them. But I've trained my whole life for this. Uh, here we go. First things first, I need to throw the sounds into samplers. The first note was obvious, just the same note one octave lower. And a few more notes by ear. And one thing I didn't expect is that I had to treat the samples with reverb and EQ. Which I can only assume means the PS1 processes the effects live too. There was a lot of guesswork, like with this later part of the wind chime. And I think I got the pitch right for the shutter sound. Okay, so here's my version. I'm not sure if I got it 100% perfect, but I put in a good, you know, decent effort. But I ain't spending any time on it. 